Hey friends, today I wanted to bring you guys a very quick decor haul, pieces that I am loving in our home. Um, I think 100% of it is from Target, if I'm being honest with you. I'm loving their stuff this year. Um, specifically the like Studio McGee Four Threshold or Threshold Studio McGee. I don't quite know what the full name of it is, but that Studio McGee line is my fave. So I have some decor pieces, some furniture, and everything is gonna be numbered up on screen and linked in the description bar below, so it's very easy to shop. And we'll get started with the first thing. Actually, there's a couple things I don't have like that I can't hold up. And first is our coffee table. I think I have mentioned this to you guys before. Oh man, it is so nice. <laughs> and it holds up great with kids. It is very low to the ground, which is what I wanted because I wanted to be able to add height to it. Now at the current moment, Roman's in his like pulling everything off of surfaces phase because he's pulling up. So I don't have a ton of stuff on it, but my plan is to gradually add things to it styled, but the quality of it's nice. It's easy to clean. It can withstand a toddler standing on it if you find your kids standing on it. Um, and it just looks so, so nice. So I've been very happy with that. And then product number two, although they look fairly similar are not. Um, so it is a side table that I got from Target and I am so in love with this. Again, it had a lamp on it, but Ezra was very into pushing the lamp off and it was just a mess. So for the time being, it's very plain, but when I was styling our home and as I've kind of styled it, one of the things that comes to mind is the term organic modern. I know that sounds silly, but one of the things I learned in design school for interior design is that words can really be helpful when it comes to what you're wanting for your home. And that is very much so a trend right now. And I feel like the table is just amazing for that organic modern term. Um, but it is pretty heavy, I will say. So just be careful. My kids can't like tip it over or anything, but if you follow me on Instagram, you see Nazar standing on it. I don't know why he likes to stand on things, but he does. Product number three are actually our planters for outside. Now I did a full video on our back porch and everything that I've kind of used out there. I have been so happy with how our back porch has turned out. It is everything I wanted it to be and more. I actually went back and looked at my Instagram um, and like even a year ago today, I was just like, oh, I can't wait to be on the back porch. I can't wait to be out here. And the flowers have just added like that much more out there and it just feels so nice and homey, but they have also withstood toddler and little baby like pulling up on them. Um, but they also just look really, really good. So definitely check out Target for planters. Um, I love them. You can find planters pretty much anywhere, but I'm loving the look of the Target ones. Um, so I'm gonna have those linked for product number three. Now moving on to things that we actually have, again, that like Threshold Studio McGee line is my favorite because they just have so many pretty decor pieces and everything kind of is cohesive, but not identical. So I am loving the artwork this year. I feel like artwork is definitely a place um, where you can kind of get a smaller thing like this, put it on your counter. And if in six months, one year, whatever, you're not vibing with it, you take it, you put it away, and then a year from now, it may fit your vibe again. So I just love to have little pieces like this that are very easy to change out um, rather than like bigger things or expensive things. But this piece of artwork is just so beautiful. I have it on our counter. And I mean, so far I have not like had any damage to it. And it's the part of our counter where like I tend to gravitate towards when I'm cooking a lot. So it is just so, so beautiful and a really good size too. Now, there are two other pieces I have. Again, similar in appearance, but not identical. This one is very much so a square. Let's see, does it have sizes on here? This is a 12 by 12. So this one is a 16 by 12. This is a 12 by 12. This frame is a little bit brighter gold, but again, it still gives that like warmer, organic, modern um, feel to it. And it is just really, really pretty without looking dated. Sometimes I find that these frames, it maybe it really just depends on the artwork, but there have been some gold frames that I had that look similar. And I was like, that just looks dated. And so I don't know what it is about this one, but I love this piece of artwork. And then the third one I've actually had for quite some time. This is on our like built-in slash floating shelves. This is a 24 by 18 and it is absolutely gorgeous. It just brings in a lot of warmth. There's a decent amount of color to it without it being too much. Um, lots of greens, blues, but it's still like warm and has some like yellows in it. So this is a beautiful piece of artwork um, that I've actually had for a while and I am super, super happy with. So um, I wanted to mention this one, but I think you guys have seen that in a video before. 
piece of framed artwork and then we'll get on to like the other things are these. So my husband and I are very proud of our degrees as we should be. We are not proud enough to pay $275 for a frame from our colleges for our diplomas. That is insane. And if you go to like Justin's even, like they are insanely expensive if you put the word diploma in it and if you want like an emblem or logo on it. So no, we ain't doing that. These were like $13, I think, 15 maybe. This is an 11 by 14. It says it's matted to eight and a half by 11 wall frame black. I saw these and immediately was like, yes, because it had the gold, it had the matting, but it's a black frame. So it looks a little bit nicer than what we had our actual diplomas in, but it wasn't outrageous. I don't know why you add the term diploma to something and they feel like they can just make it $270. Even there was one that was like 108, 13, one, three. Okay. Or maybe 15. But yeah, if you have a diploma um, that you want to display, these are amazing, like super heavy duty too. Now these actually come in two separate sizes and I have kept these on our entryway table pretty much since I think we moved into this house. I had a really tall one at our old house in the floor because we didn't have the super high ceilings. So that was honestly enough. But now of course we have the super high ceilings. You need things that are taller. So I put it on a table and I loved it. So I got this smaller size. Oh, does this one have a size on it? It does not, but it says ceramic for decorative use only, obviously not for food use, um, but I love these. And what I've been doing is changing out the top here. So I am actually, what prompted this video is I'm getting out all of my florals for spring and summer. And what I had in here before was just greenery at Christmas time. I got these big, beautiful picks from Target that were like silver and sparkly, had those in here. And I'm thinking we're gonna do hydrangeas or peonies in here. So very very beautiful and they're just huge and like the other one i have is so big that like it's honestly really awkward to hold let, let me go grab it okay my i was wrong that one is the heavier one this is the taller one so this one's a little bit more lightweight but still very pretty it does have a little bit of a smaller mouth to it than this bad boy right here but you can see they are the same they're like sisters not twins or cousins not twins or whatever. So very beautiful. And I love just putting my florals in these for spring, summer, winter, Christmas. it doesn't matter. I will say I'm a huge fan of Target candles. This is the lavender cashmere. It says orange blossom, iris, and musk scented candle. And it's just so nice. I love candles. And this one was $10. So it is a Let's see, soy wax blend. It says burn time up to 40 hours. Again, reminder, when candles say that they burn like clean and to the edge, you have to allow that to happen. So I see a lot of complaints of people who like they'll get that rim around their candle and then it will only just burn down. What you have to do, you light the candle, don't leave your house, don't let anybody blow it out, make an announcement. You need to let the wax completely melt all the way to the edge that first time and then it will burn down. That's pretty much true for any candle, um, even like cheaper candles like this. So very, very nice. It smells heavenly. A few more decor pieces that kind of fit that organic modern vibe, but this is definitely more of like a sandy brown color. I feel like it's coming off a little bit beige um, on screen. It definitely has a little bit more like an orange brown tone to it than you're seeing, but this is so pretty. I love the bottom of it and I don't have anything in here yet. I'm still undecided if I want to put anything in here. I go back and forth. Um, sometimes I just like things like this. This sits on our built-ins. It's really pretty, but you don't necessarily have to have a vase filler, but I'm just loving this one for the current moment. So I bought this bad boy. I love funky little things like this. And I feel like at our old house, we just did not have the room to put things like this or decorate fully. So now that we do have the room, I'm all about it. It's kind of fun and funky, thin, lightweight. You could put flowers in this for sure or leave it on its own. Um, but just so you guys can see them together, like definitely the exact same color, exact same material. They're just both really cool. And then one thing I've actually seen and loved, I just can't decide on which ones I want, are the candles right now. At Target, they're like the candle sticks. So we have these gold candlesticks. Is that what those are? Just like candlestick holders, candlesticks. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're gold. Very, very nice quality. I got these before 
Christmas, I believe, and ended up loving them so much and feel like they fit with the decor in my home that I kept them out. However, I think that like Target actually has textured candlesticks right now and like colorful ones. Like I think I saw a really light like lavender purple the other day. I think I saw one that was like an orangey pink color. Um, but when I'm in the store, usually I'm just like kind of going really quick and I don't know if I want them or not. So I need to kind of study those, but I love this little set here. Again, this is something that's going to work spring, summer. It's going to work fall, winter. It's going to work Christmas. It's going to work New Year's. You can definitely style these however you want. So this is a three pack and I love it. Okay, friends, and that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you're new here and I'll see you guys in my next video.